Hey gamers, last time I did top five games that I dominate in, this time it's top five games I love but rarely win. Now to put this list together, I went through my top 100, even though there's a lot of these games like uh, Homesteaders, I think I've won once in my entire life. And, and I do enjoy the game. But I thought, well, let me get higher up there. Anything in the top 100, those would be the games that I still love, but I rarely win at. So these are the games that you want to come to the table <laughs> when you're playing me. That I love too. Uh, first one is uh, Corporate America. Boy, do I love Corporate America. As you're getting these uh, different businesses, creating a synergy, uh, running for president, uh, the, I know what I'm doing wrong. I am not putting money down for pre the presidency and I'm losing out because you run for president, you get that executive decision card. That is a powerful card if used properly. And everyone beats me by using those cards. <laughs> and every time at the end of the game, I go, no, oh! because I, 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 I used to, I, I'll win every once in a while if they forget they have an executive decision card or they don't know how to use it. You know, they don't know when to use it. When's the best time to use it. But right now, I don't know the last time I've won this game. It's been quite some time. And I enjoyed that, though. I love the game still because it is fun trying to get these visits, trying to avoid the bad things that happen, watch, trying to talk to the president, whoever the president is, and trying to decide, get, I, I, I try to point at other things, uh, red herrings, to let them forget about this one because that, that card, if they pass that law, that will really screw me. <laughs> it doesn't work all the time either because they'll do it. They'll say, aha, wait a minute, Matt has these businesses. I'm going to screw him. Um, but yeah, the thing is, Corporate America is a great game that I rarely win at, but I still enjoy. The other one, and there's a lot of these out of my top 100 too, but in my top 100 currently, Tumbling Dice. Tumbling Dice is a skill game. It's not just flicking the die and hoping where it lands. There's skill on it, you know, flicking other people's die. And my nephew is really, really, my littlest nephew, he is so good at this game. He is so good at this game. And I'll win a couple of times. I've won several times. We played hundreds of games this year, this past year, but uh, I've won a couple of times, but man, I lose way more than winning. And, you know, either I flick it too hard or I get bumped or whatever. And I, there is a strategy. It's not just luck, luck of the roll here when it comes to tumble and die, but I don't win that much, but I have just as much fun playing it. Uh, another one I rarely win anymore. I used to win a lot. Now I don't, I've noticed, was Francis Drake. I love this pirate game. And my strategy was always to get two sets of trade, which is very hard to do in the game. But if you can get it, you get tons of points, like 40-something points to get one set because it's really hard. But to get two, that's like 80-something points. And I'm like, yeah, it's easy to stop someone from doing that. All you have to do is focus on trade just once or twice. And then you foiled me, and there's no way. There's not enough rounds for me to uh, get two sets. I can get one set, but not two. And now my nephews, my gaming group, whoever plays with me, they know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I only now get one trade, but I have not mastered the hit a galleon hit a, a fortress and hit a city to get those extra bonus points and get those jewels. Man, I'm so bad with that. I am so bad with that. And I, like I said, I still love the game. I will play it anytime, anytime, all the time. But uh, I, I lose and I lose big time <laughs> whenever we play uh, that game. And I, lo I love Francis Drake. Another one I lose a lot at is Imhotep. I love Imhotep, easy steps, easy decisions. But the thing that kills me is I get too greedy. I want to load up this ship. Well, yay, I loaded up, and guess what? Someone else moved it to a spot that's not going to help me. I'm already winning in that area, and they knew. It was a smart decision. They all oh, throw them out over there. He's already got them points, and I lose out on all the other points. Or when I get to the cards, I'm not in the prime position to get that first card, and so I lose out there. And I'm like, oh, and there's so many things that have gone wrong. It's all my fault. I know it's all my fault, but I can't get my brain out of doing the same strategy every time. <laughs> that's what Albert Einstein said, right? Uh, doing the same thing every time and expecting a difference, that's insanity right there. And that's that's what I have is insanity when I play Imhotep. And my number one, my number one game <laughs> that I love, that I rarely, in fact, I know for a fact I won last time, and that was the first time in years, is Firefly. And so, This is a top five game for me, right? And I rarely, if ever, win it. It's pick up and deliver. It's a beautiful game. And the thing is with me, I, can't, I said you get distracted by the game in Twilight Imperium. I get distracted in Firefly every time. I spend all my money on ship upgrades, on items, on crew. I mean, I just go all out. I, by the end of the game, I have everything. I am unstoppable. Uh, Niska's deals, which are the hardest, I can beat them easily. Nothing, nothing can, you know, not, I'm not prepared for. And that's when someone wins. That's always when someone wins. Maybe I've completed one Niska job 
and I'm ready to get the second one done, but someone's already won by then because there you don't spend all your money. You don't need every upgrade. In fact, there's a friend of mine, and it's a very smart thing, and I, I just can't do it. He buys temporary items. They're a fraction of the cost, and you may or may not use them. And if you're going to use that uh, you know, item, you may use it once. I'll be honest, a lot of the items I have, I buy at thousands of dollars. I rarely, if ever, use. And I know that's my fault, but I, I, I got to have it all. <laughs> and I love it. I mean, I still have fun playing the game, even though I rarely win. I remember I won this time because everyone, no one had fuel. And for some reason, they chose Mosey everywhere. And so everyone, it was taking them three times, you know, the time it takes to go to the galaxy and make these deliveries. No one wanted to buy fuel. Everyone thought, oh, we'll just Mosey. Well, is everyone moseying? We're all moseying. And I was like, well, I'm buying fuel then, you know, because I'm spinning out. So I actually caught up with them and won. I mean, that very rarely do I win here. And I, with, with the, with the uh, scenario we play, the scenario we play, you have to have X amount of money. But uh, I love this game. I love this game so much. And even though I rarely, if ever, win at it, it's still an awesome game. It's usually always in my top five. All right, gamers, that's it for now. But let me know in the comments what games you love that you rarely, if ever, win at. And I'll see you next time.